you think royalty equals riches, think again. Forget the glitz and glam. Not all royal families are living the high life, even though we often picture royal families in fancy palaces with piles of cash. Today, we will be unveiling the 18 poorest royal families in the entire world. Although they may not be struggling to put food on the table or meet basic needs, their bank accounts are looking a little thin when compared to other prominent royal families. Join us as we explore their modest lifestyles and stay till the end to discover the net worth of the poorest royal family. 18. The Royal House of Wangchuk At the top of our list is the Royal House of Wangchuk, Bhutan's ruling dynasty. This royal family came into power in 1907 when Gongsar Ugyen Wangchuk, often regarded as the father of modern Bhutan, was unanimously chosen as the country's first hereditary monarch. Since then, the Wangchuk family has played a vital role in shaping Bhutan's development, striking a balance between preserving the nation's rich cultural heritage and embracing modernization. Though still deeply respected, the current monarch, King Jigmi Kesar Namgyel Wangchuk, and his family no longer hold absolute power. Their authority is now guided by constitutional principles, reflecting the dynasty's long-standing values of serving the people rather than accumulating personal wealth. This royal family consists of more than 10 individuals, including Queen Jetson Pima. The total net worth of the Wang Chuck family is estimated to be around $70 million. Their assets include extensive land holdings and a vast estate spanning approximately 15,000 square miles. The family also retains control over a number of inherited palaces, such as the Dechencholing Palace and the historic Punaka Zong. Although the Wangchuk royal family is not as wealthy as the British monarchy, their influence and cultural significance remain integral to Bhutan's identity. 17. The Royal House of Bernadotte The Royal House of Bernadotte, which has ruled Sweden since the early 19th century, holds the 17th spot on our list. Currently led by King Carl XVI Gustav, the royal family is estimated to have a fortune of around $62 million, making them the second richest family among the poorest royal families in the world. Much of this wealth comes from a combination of property holdings and private investments, alongside a government stipend that helps cover the royal family's official duties. Despite their investments and holdings, the Swedish royal family still faces financial difficulties. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the royal family received significantly low revenue as tourism, which is a major source of their income, came to a standstill. The royal palace generated only $8 million, which was used to maintain royal residences and support the family. Concerns were even raised by the Swedish Ministry of Finance about the potential deterioration of historic royal buildings without sufficient funds for upkeep. 16. The Royal Family of Nepal Next on our list is the royal family of Nepal, the Shah dynasty. The Shah dynasty was once one of the most powerful royal families in South Asia, but their wealth and influence have significantly declined since the abolition of the monarchy in Nepal in 2008. King Gyanendra, the last reigning monarch, possesses an estimated net worth of about $58 million, although most of this is tied to private estates. However, without official power or government support, the royal family's financial resources are considerably constrained compared to other royal families around the world. Once revered figures with considerable authority, the Shahs now navigate a landscape where their historical significance is overshadowed by the country's political changes. The royal family's lifestyle has been drastically affected, with a reliance on personal assets rather than the opulent state funding enjoyed by many of their counterparts. Despite their diminished status, the Shah dynasty still embodies a rich cultural heritage and is remembered for its historical contributions to Nepal, though its future influence remains uncertain in a rapidly evolving political climate. 15. The Royal House of Dlamini The House of Dlamini is the royal family of Eswatini, a small landlocked country formerly known as Swaziland. This dynasty traces its roots to the early 19th century when King Sobhuza I united various clans to establish the Swazi Kingdom. Over the centuries, the royal family has maintained significant power through its absolute monarchy, which still exists today. King Maswati III is the current monarch of Eswatini, and he is the last absolute ruler in Africa. King Maswati III wields complete authority over governance, 
including appointing the Prime Minister and key cabinet members. With over 250 family members, the Dlamini Royal House controls all the major businesses and financial institutions in Eswatini. According to Forbes, King Maswati III's estimated net worth is $50 million, primarily derived from an annual salary provided by the government. Although he oversees an investment company, it is held in trust for the people of Eswatini, limiting his personal access to its wealth. Despite being worth more than many other poor royal families, the ongoing pro-democracy protests in Eswatini threaten the stability of his rule, which would inadvertently affect his net worth. 14. The House of Glücksburg The House of Glücksburg, Denmark's royal family, holds the next spot on our list of the poorest royal families in the entire world. Currently led by Queen Margrethe II, who has been on the throne since 1972, the Danish royal family has played a crucial role in preserving the country's cultural heritage while also embracing modernity. The Danish royal family has an estimated net worth of $40 million, the royal family's wealth stems primarily from land holdings, company shares, and a private investment fund. While their fortune may seem modest compared to other European royals, the family's influence remains substantial, both within Denmark and abroad. The Danish royal family also receives an annual stipend from the government, totaling around $12 million, which helps cover expenses related to their official duties. This fund is essential for the maintenance of royal residences, staff salaries, and public appearances. On average, each Danish citizen contributes about $2.10 per year to support the monarchy. Despite the public funding, the family is known for maintaining a relatively modest lifestyle, especially compared to other European royals. 13. The House of Orange Nassau Next on our list is the Dutch royal family, the House of Orange Nassau. The House of Orange Nassau, known for its down-to-earth demeanor, is led by King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands. The Dutch royal family has an estimated fortune of $35 million. The royal family's income comes from a combination of personal assets, including real estate and investments. According to Business Insider, King Willem Alexander receives a yearly government budget of $40 million to cover expenses related to royal duties. This budget supports the family's official activities, such as international tours and state visits, though it no longer includes private flights, a change made in 2008-2014. Despite this reduction, the king's wealth continues to be bolstered by his personal fortune, which includes a stake in shell oil as well as inherited properties. Although the House of Orange Nassau may not be as wealthy as other European monarchs, they hold an important ceremonial role, both domestically and internationally. Their public appearances and engagements are integral to the nation's identity. 12. The Royal House of Moshoshu The Royal House of Moshoshu is the royal family of Lesotho, a small nation in southern Africa. This small country, which has a rich history, was originally inhabited by various ethnic groups, with the Basotho people at its core. The Basotho nation was unified in the early 19th century under the leadership of Moshoshu Pwars, a visionary ruler who is often credited with founding the modern state of Lesotho. Today, the royal family consists of over 30 members, led by King Letsi III and Queen Masanate Mohato Siiso, representing the nation's symbolic leadership. Despite their historical significance, the financial influence of the Lesotho royal family has significantly diminished. A combination of political instability, governmental restrictions on the monarchy's power, and years of tension within the country have weakened its economic standing. Once a powerful ruling dynasty, the family's net worth is estimated to be between 30 and $35 million, a relatively modest figure for a royal family. Although they remain central to Lesotho's culture and tradition, their financial status reflects the changing times and political climate of the nation. 11. The Johor Royal Family Next on our list is the Johor Royal Family, one of the prominent noble lineages in Malaysia. This royal family belongs to the House of Temenggong, and its roots can be traced back to the 16th century Sultanate of Johor. Over the years, the Sultanate played a crucial role in maritime trade and significantly influenced the regional political landscape. Throughout its history, the Johor royal family has produced six sultans, shaping Malaysia's royal heritage. 
Currently, the family is led by Sultan Ibrahim Ismail ibn al-Marhum, Sultan Iskandar al-Hajj, although their political power is now largely symbolic. While the family retains some regional influence, many attribute their relatively modest financial standing to the symbolic nature of their authority. The Johor royal family consists of over 20 members, with seven key figures, including Sultan Ibrahim and his wife, Raja Zareth Sophia. Despite their historical prestige, the family's collective net worth is estimated to be between 30 and 35 million dollars, with Sultan Ibrahim himself holding a personal net worth of about five million dollars. The royal family's low wealth reflects Malaysia's economic shifts, as the government has focused on fostering a more equitable distribution of wealth across the nation. 10. The Buganda Royal Family The Buganda Royal Family is the royal family of Uganda. This esteemed royal lineage belongs to the Balangira dynasty and governs the Buganda Kingdom, which was established in the 14th century. The Buganda royal family has played a pivotal role in shaping Uganda's vibrant traditions, culture, history, and heritage. Though the family spans numerous generations, its core members are only 10, with Kabaka Ronald Edward Frederick Kimera Muwenda Mutebi Sekud as the head, alongside his wife, Lady Sylvia Naganda. Remarkably, this 600-year-old royal family continues to exert significant cultural influence within the nation, maintaining traditions that resonate deeply with the Ugandan people. Despite their historical prominence, the Buganda royal family does not enjoy substantial financial wealth. King Mutebi II's estimated net worth is approximately $10 million, while the collective net worth of the royal family is $30 million. Most of their wealth is concentrated within Uganda and consists largely of inherited assets, including vast tracts of land, ancestral homesteads, and ceremonial sites. The Buganda royal family also possesses ancient cultural artifacts and gold that are valued in millions. 9. The House of Oldenburg The House of Oldenburg, the Norwegian royal family, holds the ninth spot on our list of the poorest royal families in the entire world. The origins of this monarchy can be traced back to the 9th century. The Norwegian royal family consists of just over seven core members, with the head of the monarchy being King Harald V and Queen Sonja. Despite their royal status, Norway's monarchy is known as one of the least affluent in the world. Members of the Norwegian royal family live very modest lives, especially when compared to other European royals. They are often seen blending in with ordinary citizens. According to Norway Today, Norwegian royals use public transportation, visit public beaches, and wear everyday clothing even at major events. The Crown Prince's children, Princess Ingrid and Prince Sveri, attend public schools. The net worth of the Norwegian royal family is currently estimated at $30 million. However, according to Yahoo News, the monarchy costs the state over $72 million, $300,000 annually. The king and queen receive $1,400,000 from this allowance, while the crown prince receives $1,100,000. The remaining funds are used for personal security and the expenses of the official royal house. 8. The Selangor Royal Family The Selangor Royal Family is another royal family in Malaysia. They are part of the royal house of Opu Daeng Silek. This royal lineage began in 1766 when Bugis warrior Raja Salehuddin settled in Selangor, building the foundation of the Selangor Sultanate. Over the years, the Selangor royal family's influence grew through alliances, treaties, and interactions with neighboring states, solidifying their place in Malaysia's history. However, this once powerful dynasty's authority and influence declined when Malaysia gained independence in 1957 and adopted a democratic system. This shift, along with opposition from colonizers and rival sultanates within the nation, significantly curtailed the wealth and power of the royal family. As a result, some core family members have even taken up regular jobs to sustain themselves. Today, the Selangor royal family consists of 10 core members, led by Sultan Sharifuddin. While they still hold ceremonial authority as the state's royal family, their power is largely symbolic. Their collective net worth is estimated to be between 20 and 30 million dollars. Despite this modest financial standing, the family remains beloved and respected by the people of Selangor and Malaysia. 7. The House of Belgium The House of Belgium is one of Europe's poorest royal families. Led by King Philippe and his wife, Queen Matilda, 
the Belgian royal family has an estimated net worth of $20,500,000. The Belgian royal family's fortune primarily stems from King Philippe's private property holdings and some real estates owned by the crown. In addition to their personal assets, the Belgian monarchy receives an annual budget of $19 million from the government to cover the family's expenses. However, after accounting for other government-covered expenses, the Brussels Times estimated that the monarchy costs Belgians an eye-watering $66 million, with regular indexation to maintain prices in line with inflation. The majority of this allocation, about $12,900,000, is designated for the official duties of King Philippe. This includes funding for staff, maintaining the royal palace in Brussels, which serves as the king's workplace, and the castle of Lecken, the official residence of the royal family. Other costs, such as utility bills, official vehicles, and expenses related to public engagements, are also paid from this fund. Six, the Asante Royal House. Next is the Asante Royal House of Ghana, a royal family deeply intertwined with the nation's cultural and historical heritage. The roots of this royal lineage date back to the 17th century, during the formation of the Ashanti Empire, known for its rich traditions, elaborate court rituals, and vibrant artistic culture. A pivotal figure in the family's history is King Osei Tutu I, who played a crucial role in uniting the Ashanti clans into the powerful Ashanti Empire, which laid the foundation for modern-day Ghana. However, the influence of the Ashanti royal family significantly diminished in 1960 when Ghana adopted a democratic constitution that limited the political and financial powers of its royals. Despite this, the royal family remains culturally significant, with hundreds of members, including chiefs, elders, and queen mothers. The current head of the royal family, King Otumfuo Osei Tutu II, ascended the throne in 1999. According to Forbes, the king's net worth is estimated at around $10 million, primarily derived from a collection of valuable gold crown jewels and real estate holdings in Ghana and South Africa. The collective net worth of the family is $20 million, with their wealth bolstered by various businesses, including the transport company Mac International Ghana Limited and the financial firm Promosa Financial Services Limited. Keep watching as the net worth of the last five royal families on our list will leave you completely bewildered. Five, the House of Noradam. Next on our list is the House of Noradam, the royal family of Cambodia, a dynasty with deep historical roots in Southeast Asia. This royal house, which was formed in 1860 by King Nordam I, played a crucial role in liberating the nation from French colonization and has since been a driving force in shaping Cambodia's history. The two core members of the royal family are Queen Mother Noradom Monanith and her son, King Norodom Sihamoni, the current monarch. While the royal family has been instrumental in Cambodia's past, they only hold ceremonial power today, which has contributed to their limited financial standing. The collective net worth of the family is estimated to be around five to six million dollars. This includes iconic properties, such as the Royal Palace of Phnom Penh and their residence in Siem Reap. The family also owns thousands of acres of land valued at approximately two million dollars alongside other modest business interests. Although this wealth may seem substantial to an average person, it pales in comparison to other royal families. 4. The House of Tupu The House of Tupu is the royal family of Tonga, a small kingdom in the South Pacific. The foundation of this modern monarchy dates back to the reign of King George Tupu I, who unified various islands and chieftains into a single cohesive kingdom in 1820. His leadership did not only solidify Tonga's political and economic stability, but also laid the foundation of the rich culture the nation enjoys today. Currently, the Tongan royal family consists of over eight core members, and the family is headed by King Tupu VI, who ascended the throne in 2012. In 1875, Tonga adopted a constitutional monarchy, which significantly reduced the royal family's absolute power and wealth. Today, the net worth of King Tupu VI and his family is estimated to be around $5 million, a modest sum by royal standards. This isn't surprising considering the economic challenges Tonga faces, with nearly one-third of its population living below the poverty line. 
One notable event in the family's financial history is the loss of 26 million in a couple of bad investments by the King's financial advisor, Jesse Bogdanoff, who worked for Bank of America. Surprisingly, King Tupu VI took this financial disaster in stride and even made Jesse the official court jester of Tonga, as reported by Independent Magazine. 3. The House of Karadjordjevic The House of Karadjordjevic, the royal family of Serbia, holds the third spot on our list of the poorest royal families in the entire world. Currently led by Crown Prince Alexander, the royal family was once exiled for many years after World War II. However, the royal family returned to Serbia in the 2000s after decades of living abroad. Although they were able to reclaim some of their former properties, the Karadjordjevic family's wealth remains relatively modest compared to other European royals. The family's current estimated net worth is around $5 million. Much of their wealth is tied up in real estate, including the royal compound in Dedinje, which houses the family's main residences, the Royal Palace and the White Palace. The upkeep of these properties is largely funded through private donations and government support, as the family's personal wealth is not sufficient to cover all the expenses. While the royal family no longer holds formal political power, they remain an important cultural symbol in Serbia, contributing to humanitarian causes and national events. Crown Prince Alexander, in particular, has been actively involved in charity work, and the family's presence helps maintain a connection to Serbia's royal past. 2. The House of Bourbon-Anjou The House of Bourbon-Anjou, the royal family of Spain, was once among the wealthiest royals in Europe. The royal family came into power in the 18th century when Philip V was chosen as the new Spanish monarch after the War of the Spanish Succession. Over the centuries, this royal family played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's path toward modernization and affluence. However, significant changes occurred in 1977 under the reign of King Juan Carlos, when Spain transitioned to a constitutional monarchy. This shift reduced the political and financial power of the royal family. The House of Bourbon-Anjou consists of eight core members, and it is headed by King Felipe VI, who is often regarded as the poorest monarch in Europe. King Felipe VI's fortune is estimated to be around $2,800,000, according to royal stats. King Felipe VI has openly acknowledged his financial limitations, famously stating, I might be king of Spain, but I'm not loaded, as reported by The Telegraph. The royal household relies on government aid of $9,200,000 to cover the family's expenses, including costs related to their official duties. Despite their low wealth, the Spanish royal family remains a respected institution within the country. 1. The Taiwa Royal House The Taiwa Royal House is the poorest royal family in the entire world. The royal family was led by King Tuhechia Potatau Te Werowero VII until his death on August 30th, 2024. Unlike many other monarchs, King Tuhechia did not possess the riches or lavish possessions typically associated with royalty. Although his net worth remains largely unknown, estimates suggest it was around $336,000, according to People AI. While this may not be considered poor for an ordinary citizen, it is certainly poor in a king's world. King Tuhechia lived in a poverty-stricken area of New Zealand, keeping a low profile and often avoiding the media spotlight. His focus was on his people and their struggles, rather than material wealth or grandeur. In fact, there was even a rumor that the king once had a leaky roof in his home but couldn't afford the repairs. Despite these challenges, King Tuhecha remained deeply dedicated to his role as the leader of the Maori people, prioritizing their well-being and communal challenges over personal luxury. What are your thoughts on our list of the 18 poorest royal families in the entire world? Do you think it's fair that some royal families have immense wealth while others do not? Share your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.